Welcome to Dragon e-commerce YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn that how we can create our Amazon Seller Central account. So search on uh, Google Amazon Seller Central. If you are going to create your account in UK or USA, you can just type USA or UK. Uh, this is the home page. Now from here, if you will click on sign up, then uh, Amazon will charge $39.99 fee from your bank account. Uh, this is called the uh, subscription for Amazon professional seller account doesn't matter you are going to create your uh, uh, professional account on your personal details or on your LLC details if you want to create your Amazon seller account individual uh, whose uh, monthly fee is one dollar so just click on learn more and uh, then you have to click on pricing uh, just scroll down uh, from here you will see here uh, Amazon individual and professional plan and uh, features included in, in Amazon individual and professional so uh, from here you will see sign up option of sign up for Amazon individual account and uh, sign up for Amazon professional account. So if you want to create your Amazon individual account then specifically you have to come here and you have to click on sign up for individual. If you have already Amazon buyer account you can also use your Amazon buyer account uh, details to create your Amazon seller account for that you will just need to sign in here. Uh, because we are going to create new Amazon account, so we will click on create your Amazon account. Uh, here you have to write your name, uh, your complete name as it is uh, It is on your passport or on your national ID. And then you have to uh, write here your email address, uh, the email address that uh, that is new. It will, be, uh, it will be good if you create a new email uh, to create your Amazon account. And then uh, here you have to put any password. So I'm just writing the password here. <clears throat> and then uh, click on next. Amazon will send OTP uh, containing code, six digit code on your email address. So just go to your uh, email inbox that you have used to create your Amazon seller account in the previous step. Uh, just copy that uh, OTP code and paste it here uh, to proceed so I am just waiting for the OTP as I will receive the OTP I will put OTP here and then we will proceed to the next step so uh, in this video uh, we will uh, talk about all the things um, we have to keep in mind while creation of Amazon seller account to avoid uh, suspension issues so I have received the OTP uh, I will put the OTP here and now I will click on uh, create your Amazon account <clears throat> just click on create your Amazon account and uh, on next page you will see this interface uh, here uh, some information from Amazon you can read that that Amazon will verify your address uh, by sending an postcard OTP on your physical address and all the information that uh, would be submitted like uh, your credit card information your passport or national uh, ID card information uh, if you are going to create your Amazon account on LLC, then uh, bank account of your LLC, the EIN number of your LLC. Uh, okay, after that, uh, you just uh, have to click on begin. First step uh, here is uh, business location. Uh, so if you are going to create your Amazon seller account from USA, you have to select USA. If you are going to create your Amazon account from Canada or UK, you have to just select uh, your business uh, location. Uh, where you are living because we are going to create individual account and we are going to create this Amazon seller account from Pakistan so I will just click on uh, country location as a Pakistan. so after uh, selecting the business location you have to uh, select the business type doesn't matter keep in mind if you are going to create your Amazon individual account on your personal details then you have to click on none I am an individual so and uh, if you are going to create your Amazon individual account on your business details like uh, you have LLC in USA or uh, you have LTD in UK uh, you have to just click on privately owned business um, and if you are going to create your Amazon professional account you will proceed uh, same if you are going to create your Amazon professional account on your personal details then you have to click on none I am an individual and if you are going to create Amazon professional seller central account on your LLC details or on your business details then you have to click on privately owned business 
so uh, keep these things in your mind these are the most uh, uh, most common errors uh, that appears and that cause your amazon account deactivation so uh, i am going to create uh, my amazon account on my individual detail uh, my personal detail so i will select none i am an individual but if i would like to create my amazon seller account on my llc details then i would then i would uh, select uh, privately owned business and here you have to write your first name your middle name and uh, your last name same as it is on your passport or on your uh, national id card after that uh, i will click on agree and then agree and continue So it will take few seconds to proceed to next Amazon page. Okay, so here you have to provide your personal information. If you are going to create your Amazon uh, account on your LLC details, then Amazon will ask about EIN number of your uh, company LLC because i am going to create uh, my amazon individual account on my personal details so amazon will ask only my personal information so i will write down my name first name and last name and then i will select uh, country of citizenship uh, because i am from pakistan uh, i will select pakistan if you are going to create your amazon account from usa or canada you will just select usa or canada where from you belong so and also uh, country of birth same uh, Pakistan and then I have to uh, put here my date of birth so all this information should be accurate keep in mind all of this information should be accurate there should be no mistake here if you will create any uh, mistake here it will cause uh, account suspension or maybe uh, Amazon will not allow you to create your Amazon seller account uh, from here you have to select the option uh, passport or national id what would you like both will work same so i am going to use my national id i will select uh, uh, national id and uh, country of issue is also pakistan so i just selected the country pakistan and here i have to write my national id and then uh, date of expiry as it is on your um, national id if you are going to use your passport then you have to write here your passport number and uh, expiry of your passport so here we go okay on next step uh, you have to provide your residential address uh, I am just making clear all things to you. If you are going to create your business account, then Amazon will ask your business address of your LLC. So because I am creating here this Amazon seller account on my personal details, so Amazon is just asking me to provide my residential address. Uh, here I will write my address, uh, which is written on my passport or on my ID card, and uh, the zip code and state and then region. Uh, in address line 2 if you can provide more details about your address and maybe sometime because Amazon will send OTP postcard on your address to verify your address uh, it, it would take uh, sometimes seven days and sometime a week two week uh, to send that OTP address on your uh, residential address so you have to just provide here exact address where you can uh, receive the postal code from Amazon so I am going to write here my zip code and uh, then I will write the address line 1 as it is written on my national ID card so it will be easy for me to uh, to get this account activated without any errors and without any suspension uh, after writing your complete address you have to write your phone number so I have just uh, write my phone number in the tab and then I will click on send SMS. Amazon will send a six digit pin on your mobile number uh, that you have written just here. This is only for security purposes for uh, login. So this is the OTP that I received. I will uh, put that OTP here 
and then I will just click on verify to verify my phone number with my Amazon self center account and then I will click on next okay uh, on next page you have to provide your payment information you have to write here your credit card number uh, the expiry date on the credit card and then uh, uh, card holder name uh, the name that is written on card and also the billing address if the billing address is same as uh, your residential address you can just write uh, the same address here but if your billing address is different from your residential address then you have to click on add a new address so i will write here my uh, credit card number details you can also use your debit card if you don't have credit card then also you can use uh, your uh, debit card too uh, amazon will uh, just uh, cut uh, his fee from your uh, credit card or debit card whatever it is uh, but keep in mind uh, your credit card should be credit or debit card should be activated for e-commerce uh, online payments so it will be easier for amazon to detect uh, amount from your credit card so uh, i have just written my credit card number now i have to select here the expiry date on my credit card so this is uh, let me check it out so after uh, putting your expiry date you have to write your name as it is on your credit or debit card then you just have to click on next so let's wait for a few seconds okay here you have to provide your store and product information uh, you can select any store name from here you can just write your name your llc name anyone you like but keep in mind uh, this is editable means that when your amazon seller account will be ready uh, then you can just change your store name so there is no need to worry about it after that uh, you have to click on no do you have any barcode or uh, upc for your purchase click on no and then click on next just wait a second if you see this type of error just refresh the page and again click on next okay so this is the uh, identity information part here you have to upload uh, your uh, bank statement and also your national id card if you are going to create your amazon seller account on your national id card and if you are going to create your amazon account on your uh, passport then you have to upload your passport picture here so i am going to create my amazon seller account on my national id so i will just uh, upload the front image and the back image separately uh, the things that you need to keep in mind while uh, uploading your uh, documents the documents uh, should be in a good resolution all four corners of the documents should be uh, visible in the scanned image and also uh, there should be nothing blur on your documents so keep this thing in mind and uh, uh, for your bank statement you can just uh, get your bank statement from your bank if you want uh, to get your account earlier and uh, without any error then it will be best if you visit your bank account and uh, then ask them to uh, give you the your bank statement and you can just get the print of your bank statement and ask your bank to uh, uh, to provide stamp and signature of the bank manager on your bank statement so it will be easy for uh, actually amazon to verify you inform your information you can also upload your electronic bank statement but uh, uh, because I have a lot of experience in Am in the creation of Amazon seller account, uh, mostly when we upload uh, bank statements with the bank stamp and uh, signature, they uh, they just accept the the document. Uh, so if you can uh, if you can get your bank statement from bank with the stamp and signature, then it will be best. Okay, I have just uploaded the front image of my national ID. Now I will upload uh, the back side of the image and after that i will just upload the bank statement 
so I I am going to repeat again uh, you can create your Amazon individual account on your personal details or on your business LLC details you can create your Amazon professional account on your personal details and on your LLC details too um, the things that you should keep in mind while creation of your Amazon seller account uh, is that your documents should be in very very good resolution your residential address should be same as it is on your documents and if you are going to create your LLC then write your business address and residential address same as it is written on your documents means that uh, if you have uh, your LLC address and your personal uh, address different then you can just provide the business address of your LLC and uh, your personal address as it is written on your documents as a residential address so it will be easy for M uh, Amazon to create your Amazon account without any errors so after that Amazon will take uh, one to two days to verify the provided information and then they will uh, send OTP postcard on your desk so if you like this video just uh, subscribe the channel and if you uh, are getting any error in your account creation you can just uh, leave a comment and also you can contact me uh, for uh, consultancy and any kind of help in Amazon business you can just reach me out so thank you so much uh, do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel thank you